In this episode, I'm going to show you how to make your own portable electronic piano with just spares lying around. This is a preview of it. So I started by drawing the electrical scheme. As you can see, the main brain of the operation is Arduino Nano, and the imitation of keyboard is made by simple push buttons which are directly connected to Arduino. There are 8 input push buttons, so I could play the whole octave. For outputting the sound, I am using 8 ohm. 0.25 watt speaker. The main supply of the scheme is 5 volts. 5 volts in smaller electronics is used as logical 1. To be exact, logical 1 is from 2.4 volts to 5 volts and logical 0 is from 0 to 0.4 volts. That is why I'm using 5 volts. Of course, the other reason is because any portable battery has the output of 5 volts. That makes this project far more portable. Then it's time to gather all the pieces and start soldering. First I prepare the pieces for soldering. As you can see, I'm using acidic solution for solder to better fuse with uh, copper. The soldering part is not as interesting as you might think. That's why I'm not gonna show the whole process of me soldering it. But here you can see the neatly soldered product. Everything fits right where it has to be and you can connect with jumper wires or just solder additional wires to it. Here I'll be using Arduino EDA for programming. It has a C and C++ fusion plus Arduino terminology. So let's begin with the coding part. Here I have 8 keys and one output for for speaker. In void setup, I describe keys as inputs so I could uh, uh, read the information from them. And the bus pin, bus pin is the speaker, uh, as output. In void loop, I have to read every key at, uh, at all the time. I read those keys. And uh, if the key value is high, so here, the key, uh, it reads the digital read, uh, uh, the logical one is 5 volts and logic 0 is 0 volts. So at 5 volts it's high and if it reads high, I can see it outputs the expected uh, sound. Uh, here is a full gamma, not gamma, full octave, uh, from Do to Do, Do, Re, Mi, Fa, So, La, Si, Do. Uh, so what I show, if it's high, the speaker pin should get this, uh, this hertz, 261, this is the Do and it should play for 100 milliseconds then there's the hertz of re 
parts of me and so forth and so on so this is the whole code for this project here you have inputs and outputs the setup the loop I'll give you a few seconds to uh, to copy this code or something and it's really simple but now it's time for testing let's see if it really works everything works just fine and it's time to begin to model the outside case for this mini portable piano. I could use a CAD here, like AutoCAD or something else to draw it, but I would like to show you how to just draw it on paper and using real parts and then make it in reality. As you can see, I'm using heads for my push buttons. These heads are simply from uh, some old kid's toy I'm using. I measured the buttons and put it in a corresponding place. Then I used the same buttons to draw them in my own schematic. After that, I just cut everything out out of plywood. I made a little stuff for the push button panel and as you can see I'm putting right everything into its place. I'm using M4 bolts for connecting. And in the end, this is how it looks. So yeah, not that bad, and I even made my own little track. So listen to this. <laughs> 